And now live from Laurel, Maryland, the Snack Boys Studios, it's snack time. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Snack Boy. <laughs> I'm just more than a little bit moved today, people. More than a little touched for the first time in, in, the, in a new show that we bring to you live daily at 3.15. I've gotten my first gift. A snack was sent to me from Australia. See? And... um. <laughs> Just to show what it is, it's it's a box of twisties, a box of twisties, and I'm, uh, I just want to say thank you. And I'm even gonna take I'm even gonna take a bite a bite out of these. Oh, I, I'm so moved. You, you all don't even know how good this feels. Oh, I just want to say thank you, Glenn. You've been a great fan, a great fan from another continent. I'm gonna eat a twisty. I'm gonna give it a quick review before I get into today's snack boy. It is a che. It look kind looks kind of like our American version of Cheetos. But let's take a bite, huh? Oh, oh, <laughs> people! This kicks the ass of Cheetos. I mean, I don't know what you guys do out there in Australia, but you all have some great snacks. And take it from me. Oh, I just, I had to put these down, or I'll never finish the show. For five minutes, you can just watch me go. Ah! But I want to thank you. Um, I'm not. I'm not the best gift receiver. Um, so I would never ask anyone ever to send me any more snacks or gifts to Terry Crummett, care of the Sink Incorporated, at 312 Laurel Avenue, Laurel, Maryland, 20707, USA. I don't, I'm just not into that whole product placement. I cannot be sold out. Anyway, today, today let's get right to the snacks. Today we have the winner of the butt story, and let's just throw ourselves into the butt story. Okay, this is from Chris, and Chris says, on the subject of butts, hey, a snack boy, well, first things first, love the show, but you probably get that all the time. Thank you, thank you very much. But um, here's his butt story. Anyway, he says he has a friend, Dan, who has a profound love of his own ass. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure where this comes from. I do, however, know that Dan loves to show it off. Dan is, after all, the one who woke me up from my bed, in my bedroom, by mooning me. Yes, that's right. I awoke from a sound sleep hearing Dan's voice, Chris, Chris, wake up. I looked up, and there was the scary sight of Dan's ass. This is not my story, however. My story happens while driving home after playing a rousing game of hockey. I was driving happily along the freeway with Dan in the passenger seat, the two of us were discussing the, thing, the finer aspects of the game when I spotted a teammate of ours driving up ahead of us. Look, I said, it's Jeff. To which Dan replied, of course, go faster. I'm going to moon him. So we're driving along at 70 to 75 miles per hour trying to catch up with Jeff while Dan tries to undo his pants in my passenger seat. We finally pull up even with Jeff. And Dan forgot one important element in the car, uh, in the car to moon rolling down the window. So Dan plants his ass into my window, making a flattened impression of his ass that I can only imagine. Upon realizing his mistake, however, Dan recoiled in surprise and likely cold assed. I like that, cold assed. Okay. Hockey is a winter sport, remember. And sat down. As I looked over, I quickly noticed two things. A, Jeff was totally oblivious to our attempted moon. And B, Daniel had left cheek marks on my window, two cheek marks, not unlike when somebody breathes on a window, only with a blank spot just where the crack should be. Undeterred, however, by our obvious failure and Dan sitting naked beside me, which was not very pleasant, I might add, Dan rolls down the window and sticks his ass outside the window and out onto the freeway. At 70 mile per hour moon, and Daniel doesn't just moon. Now he has confidence enough that he reaches back and spreads the cheeks to give Jeff the full Daniel's ass experience. Well, Jeff noticed Dan this time, and poor Jeff got to suffer through Daniel's ass for quite a while, as Daniel was, I believe, having the time of his life. What I do not know what Jeff's plans on doing, but he says retaliation is in the works. 
I just hope I don't have to look at Daniel's ass as well. Thanks a bunch. I wish I had a question to ask, but I just don't. So I'll just say, see ya. The reason we picked uh, Chris's story is because of his description. Uh, it, it, the visuals, it was like dances with wolves. I saw, I saw that the cheek marks on the window and the crack and the fact that his friend was having a time of our life. We were very, very much impressed here at the Snack Boy Studio. There were more crazy ass stories that came along, but the detail was there and you could practically, we could hear as a collective whole, smell. We felt like we could smell uh, the guy's ass, and we've never even met him. Right. 